Hi everyone, I wanted to send you a video, a how-to video, on how to use Microsoft Teams. So like I said in Canvas, in the syllabus, this will be the mode of technology that we use for the photo voice projects, and you'll do this with your group. Um, there's several, several reasons why I like Microsoft Teams. The first one is you have free access to it with your UNCW um, account. Also, it's a great platform where you can do group work, but you can do it asynchronously. So it's not where you have to all, you know, pick a time and a day and work together. It's you can go in, you can put your stuff in your team with other folks. You can respond to what you need to respond to, but you do it on your own time as long as you're meeting the deadlines um, for each, mo each module. Okay, so to get started, you should look at your email box for your UNCW account, and you'll see in the top left-hand corner, you see this um, square that has dots. So these are the different apps that Microsoft um, has and that we have access to through UNCW. So click on that and it will display everything. One thing, if you are a new student and you'll see in course syllabi that all of your materials need to be submitted as Word docs. If you don't already have Microsoft Word installed on your computer, use this. These are all the programs that you would use and it's web based. So wherever you have internet and you can get on and you can check your email and that kind of thing, you have access to all of these. So if you think that you need to buy um, a Microsoft package, don't do that. You have everything. So just wanted to make that quick note. Um, so you'll see Teams, it's right here, so click on that. Now in your, when you log in, you'll see like your dashboard, kind of like your Canvas dashboard where each of your classes has its own tile. It's the same thing for uh, Microsoft Teams. So any team that you are involved in or that you've been added to, you'll see here. Um, you'll see I, I moved two teams that I'm part of. I hid them, so they're called hidden teams. And then I created one called Dogs, um, just to use an example for this video. So you will see um, after your groups have been established, um, You'll see that uh, by September 6th, somebody from the team needs to email me with a team name. And then once I have all of that information, I will create the teams and you'll, um, by the time that you log in to get started, your team will be there. So you won't see dogs, you'll see your team name. One thing about team names. So my original plan, I was going to just do team one, team two, team three, you know, and so on. When I went in to create a team, it won't let me create teams um, by like using the number. You can't use any numbers. You can't use the word team. You can't use the word group. So what I was thinking is as you all are thinking of your names, um, either find something that you all have in common, or you can call yourself, you know, ECE Advocacy, ECE Advocacy and Policy. Um, again, you can't have numbers, so you couldn't say, like, 522 Advocacy and Policy. Um, so whatever you want, or whatever your team wants, it just something um, short and sweet and to the point, but instead of me trying to come up with so many different team names, I figured you all can do that. So, when you click in and you look at your your team, your group, it looks like any other type of social media platform. But the thing is, only the people that are part of your team will be able to see this. Um, and myself, I'll be in everybody's team. Um, so you'll see here, I uploaded a picture of just a baby that I had on my computer. So as you are um, taking your pictures and you're responding to the prompt for the for the module, um, you can upload it directly into 
this page. Let me pull this up so you can see it. Okay, so if you see at the bottom, it says start a new conversation. So I could either just go ahead and type my response to the to the prompt um, or upload my picture first. So you have your choices. You can attach things. Um, they have gifts. They have other stickers, emojis, um, all that fun stuff. But to upload my picture, I would go to attach, uh, upload from my computer. And yours could be, you know, from wherever you have your picture stored. And then, let's see. Oh, let's do a picture of uh, diverse families or diverse people. Okay, open that. Um, so it's loading. You can see the it's processing. I could, like I said, if I wanted to give my... Um, description of why did I take this picture, how does it relate to um, the prompt for the module, I could put my conversation in here. Then I would hit well, send and now it's posted. The thing that I really like about Teams and the main reason that I'm using it, like I said, you will be able to respond to the prompts on your own but you're still part of a group. But I like it because for me grading your participation um, each module, I can see timestamps. So I can see that you were in it, you responded, you did whatever. Um, part of this project will to be also to engage in critical dialogue and critical reflection. So let's say I had something, um, or no, let's say that you're my peer and you want to add something to the conversation about the picture that I took of the baby. You could click on reply and type out your reply and then post it to. And it keeps it going. It keeps the conversation going. So I wanted to also show you what it looks like once a lot of people have participated. So yours will look like this too. You'll see where I have added all your teammates um, to the group and then you just give your notes or you know whatever you want to say then people can respond things like that if you have links you could share that too although we'll just be doing photos um, for this project another thing that's really nifty with Microsoft Teams is you can download um, a Teams app to your phone and I know you can definitely do it with an iPhone I would imagine you could do it with other phones because it's Microsoft um, but you can download the app and you would sign in with your UNCW credentials, so your email address and then your password, and then you'll see your team pop up in your app. And so if you wanted to, um, I'm assuming the majority of you will take photos with your cell phone, you could do that directly through the app. You could just, um, it ask you, do you want to give Microsoft Teams access to your photos, you could say yes, take your picture, and it uploads directly to your um, team page that, that you're looking at. Um, something to keep in mind, if you type and you're putting in your narration about your picture and you're using your phone, I'm still looking that it's coherent, that you're not using text to um, describe your picture. So if that means you upload your picture and then the next time you get to your, your computer, you go back in and add your caption, that's fine, but um, it needs to be um, high quality um, thoughts and responses to your pictures and then responses to your peers. All right, um, hopefully this is an easy thing to use. Um, I haven't had any issues with it. The biggest challenge, that I've had with it is just coming up with the team names and so far so good but um, okay so let me know if you run into issues but this should be very straightforward